Diane Bolin here. Today, I want to talk to you about proper walking form. I've been hyping, get out and go for a walk, and you hear from all of the fitness professionals and medical professionals that walking is great, and that's true, but it's even better if you have proper walking form and that way you're not injuring your body in any way, your lower body, your upper body. There's just a few simple things that you can do to make walking more comfortable. Let me show you how. First of all, posture is critical. You see people kind of walking bent over, they're looking at their phones or whatever, they're walking with their toes turned out, shuffling, all of those things are not great walking form. So let's see what good walking form looks like. You're gonna stand with your feet about hip distance apart, your knees slightly bent, your hips slightly flexed, your shoulders back and down, and your head up. So what we're looking for is our shoulders over our hips, our hips, over our heels, tucked in, chin neutral, shoulders back and down, and head up. The second your head comes forward, it's putting a lot of pressure on the cervical spine right here. That leads to headaches and other things that we don't want to have. So before you even go out to walk, get yourself in good posture position and get a sense of what that feels like. Be able to go into that good position anytime, anywhere. Next, we'll take a look at what actually starts the movement of the walk. It might surprise you. Now that we've talked about proper posture as we're getting ready to learn how to rewalk, now we wanna talk about where your foot is going to hit the ground. So the first thing we're gonna do is review that posture. Feet hip distance apart to start with, knees soft, hips soft, shoulders back and down, head in a neutral position, not leaning forward, not leaning back, back nice and flat. So now what I want you to do is start marching. And as your foot comes down, pay attention to where your foot naturally hits the floor. It's not gonna be your heel and it's not gonna be your toe. It's gonna be somewhere in between. And everybody's gonna be slightly different. So keeping that nice upright posture, we're gonna figure out where our footfall is. Remember that. Now we're gonna take it from the march where we know our footfall is, and we're going to push off with our back foot, engaging our hips. I encourage you to even put your hands on your glutes. I'm exaggerating my footfall a little bit. Notice how short my stride is. One of the biggest mistakes I see people make when they're learning how to walk again properly is they'll stride out. They think taking a big long stride is the right way to do it. And I'm over exaggerating, but as you can see, when I kick out, I'm heel striking. And when you strike your heel on the ground first, you're jarring your ankle, your knee, your hip, literally everything up and down your spine. And that puts a lot of strain and it makes it very uncomfortable to walk. Just to summarize what we've just talked about, we talked about marching to learn where your natural footfall is, engaging your walk from your hips rather than your feet, and making sure that your stride is short enough so that you're landing properly and not heel striking and jarring your leg. Just as we did for the posture, getting everything in shape, practice your footfalls and engaging your walk from a march. Now that we have our posture and our footfall and our push off all straightened out, 
let's look at what the upper body is doing for a proper walking position. First, I want you to, standing perfectly still, swing your arms to the right and to the left and feel what it's like to get your upper body moving. Next step, you're gonna pick up your left leg and your right arm at the same time. Our shoulders are back and down. Now we're gonna put it all together with our posture, our footfall, and our arm swing, and we'll have proper walking function. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, click the button below, and by the way, drop me comments. I use those comments in determining what content I'm going to create next just for you. So subscribe, drop your comments, and see you next time.